Police also shot and killed the suspect in Monroe and Walton County. They say he was carrying this replica machine gun when somebody called 911 thinking it was the real thing. When he pointed the gun at officers, one of them fired a shot. Fox 5's Morris Diggs joins us live from Walton County and Morse. The chief says he supports his officers' actions. He has reason to feel that way, not just from the statements he got from his officers, but also from their body cam video. That video is consistent with what they told him about why they felt the need to shoot this man. In some Georgia communities, criminals carry weapons that have a drum magazine capable of firing many rounds. Police say this man, Malone Summerhour, had a replica gun. And early in the morning, when the local Monroe man was seen with one, police were called. The authorities say Summerhour, who had a shower curtain draped around his shoulders, did not turn over the fake gun as directed. I mean, it happened so quick. Uh, you know, when, when the individual took the overt act to point the weapon towards the officer, the officer had no choice but to defend himself. With a single shot to Summerhauer's chest that killed him. I have reviewed the video, and I feel very comfortable with the officer's actions that were taken in this. We located the Army vet's family looking for answers about what may have been behind the strange behavior. He battled with mental illness from from the military, but when he would get off his medicine, he was often um, uh, do outlandish kind of stuff, but the people around here in the neighborhood kind of knew him, so they would kind of, I guess, throw their arms around him or tell him to go home or whatever, but right. this morning it was so early that nobody was out. Edwin, one of three children, said his dad was known to most as the country guy with the goats and the chickens. Grandmother done bought him a farm, and uh, so most of my younger years, I grew up around chickens and stuff like that. Right, so, right. Um, so he, he he tried to bring some of that country living to to our community. Everybody, please keep not only these officers in their prayers, but keep the family of the deceased in their prayers. It's an unfortunate event. Now, some here in this community who are friends of Malone, they ask this question: Well, why didn't the police officers? shoot him in the leg. Well, law enforcement, they're not taught in a life or death situation to take a shot like that. They're taught to hit body mass. The GBI will take over this investigation for the Monroe Police Department. Reporting live from Monroe, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. All right, thank you, Morse.